Now, street photography is something that I've always been interested in from, from being a young fella. I've, I've loved it, I've always tried to practice it. Over the years, I've got quite a few photographs which I think are quite stand out. There's, there's moments, there's gestures. I've captured some nice, some nice photographs. But also, between that, when you're out there, sometimes it's hard to see something happening, sometimes nothing happens, sometimes you miss it. it it's, it's hit, it really is hit and miss. You tend to revert back to just taking photographs of random people. You know, you see a character walking down the street, you get a photograph of them. Okay, it's a nice character, you've made a nice photograph, but does it really mean anything? I joined a Facebook page recently called the Street Photography Club, I think. I posted a couple of photographs and, and one guy, he's quite a prolific commentator. He'll sort of give people a critique. The critique he did of my first photograph I posted on there was... Uh, it was I thought, well, Jesus, mate, I mean, that's a bit harsh. But I sat and I looked back at it and I thought, actually, he's got a point. It was just a photograph of a couple of people, although it was a nice photograph, got nice light, nice sky. It was just a photograph of people stood on a fishing wharf. Nothing unusual, nothing outstanding. He was waxing quite lyrically about finding moments, gestures, interactions, something elevated from the ordinary you know and, and i'm like i'm reading this and i'm thinking yeah, he's got a point he's got a point as the lad i'm going to try and aim for that so that's what the intention is to go down to wellington not look for people walking the streets i'm sure i'm going to get some people walking the streets because shit, you've got to photograph something when you're out and about even if it's just to get your eye in and get your confidence up you've got to get some photographs early doors what i want to do specifically is look for moments it's going to be a challenge something i'm looking forward to Good morning and welcome to Wellington, New Zealand, the capital of the country and the coolest, most beautiful little city in the world, in my humble opinion. She's a beauty on a good day. On a bad day, it's wet, it's windy, pretty harsh. Today, glorious. Yesterday, glorious. Now, yesterday I arrived down here, met up with a couple of photographer friends, street photographer friends, walked the city, took a few shots and then we departed and made his own way around for the rest of the day. Well, I'm just going to cut in here because it, that didn't go to plan. The whole weekend really didn't go how I planned it. Recorded some B-roll and I thought that, that'll do. I've got some street shots from the Saturday. I've got some street shots from the Sunday. A little bit of B-roll. Chuck a video together. Put some stills up. Caught a draw. Really? I, really? Is that all I want to do? What I'd like to do is try and take this channel a little bit more. I'm the world's worst educator. Oh. I can't do it, I can't do it, but I'm going to try. I've spent long enough doing this job now, photography, you know, all forms of photography, or most forms of photography, and I've kind of picked up a few things along the way. I like to think I know how to take a photograph, how to make a photograph look nice, basic editing of photographs, just enough to get me by. And if I can impart some of that wisdom, that knowledge, onto anybody watching this that is just starting out in photography or would like to know a little bit more about photography that's great so instead of just showing you what i got over the weekend what i'm going to do is be absolutely brutally honest show you the majority of what i got why i think it worked and more importantly why i think it didn't work i think that'll make a more interesting video i went through them deleted the absolute garbage ones you know they're, they're just nothing shots and I made a list of, probably, I think there's about 60, so I made a list of all the photographs in order that I shot them 
and uh, and the merits of them or the uh, the downsides of them okay so image number one this is when i boarded the train from where i packed my van to get the train into the city to save parking fees all that sort of thing i'm yorkshire Anna. you know i don't want to be paying for parking when i can sort of pay for a train ticket instead probably didn't save me any money really anyway saw this couple sat opposite me grabbing an hour's kip on the way into town so i thought definitely get the camera out get my eye in get a shot early doors in my head this was going to work okay i've got the lady at the front she's okay the gent at the back i couldn't get an angle on him because there was somebody sat next to me so i couldn't get an angle on him to sort of make it a nice double person falling asleep shot like juxtaposition the colors were all crap on the train uh, it wasn't working very well so i converted to black and white thinking that would lift the image okay image number two this is when i met up with the the lads in town we had a bit of a walk around the cbd central business district didn't really see much too early during the day to, to make any photographs of anybody because there was nobody around walked down onto the waterfront saw this mural on the on the boat shed it's quite a new mural not been there long position myself here wait until a few people walk past I got a few cyclists, uh, I got a few walkers, a few joggers, nothing really particularly interesting whatsoever. Then I saw these three people walking by. Initially, all three of them looked towards the mural, which was great, bang. I thought I'd got a shot, but the camera was turned off, dick. So then by the time I turned the camera on, this guy on the right hand side, he looked back towards me, which I quite like actually. So what did I put about this? Good light, mildly interesting. It's okay, passable. Again, some good light falling onto the background walls. It was another boat shed. We got the shadow from a big crane there. And I thought, right, position myself, get some people walking past, whatever. Saw this guy walking along with his dog and obviously the, the red bag that he's carrying made him stand out. He's got a grey shirt that blends in with the background. And obviously that shock of colour, I, I don't know. Is it a good shot? It's an average shot. What did I put? Good light, but just dog walking. <laughs> Fair comment really, nothing really going on. And that's the thing, I'm trying to get moments. Two people sat at a cafe, having a drink, having a feed. I quite like the dry riser on the left hand side. Thought it could possibly look like eyes staring at the people. No, didn't really work. What did I put? Folk sat eating, nothing more. So yeah, in street photography, you've got to build your confidence up a little bit. When you turn up in a city or a town center or wherever, you get the camera out straight away you, you you're feeling self-conscious you're feeling like people are aware of you in reality they're not me personally i've got to get my mindset around nobody's interested in me nobody's watching me nobody cares no, nobody even knows i'm there why should they so then i take a few photographs just to ease my nerves a bit and then we settle into it so this next shot i saw these guys walking with uh what are the tables or or musical sort of stands i think the musical stands anyway so they were walking along and they all had smiles on the face there was a half decent bit of light shining on them so i took this shot and this this is the first shot that i actually moved in a little bit closer to people i quite like it the note i wrote down was group walking all happy and okay shot and that that's nothing more really I saw this guy walking down the street I, I didn't notice his missus at all i just noticed his hat his glasses his overcoat and his big boots, the old Doc Martin lace-up boots. And he's got such a dominant, forceful stride. He's got kind of a moody presence about him. And above him it says Storm, some shop called Storm. So I quite like that. I mean, I don't know if it's got any real relevance. So this one, walking along again, I'm starting to get a bit more confident now. Pointing the camera at people as they're walking towards me. I got two shots of this couple. One, they were totally oblivious to me, but it was too far away. The next one, as soon as I lifted the camera up again, they uh, they they both twigged me and uh, gave me a bit of a smile and uh, I quite like it, it's quite nice light. It's nothing major and that's what I put there, I love their smiles. Okay, next shot. So then I sat down for a while, had a coffee. This woman came and sat down and she started feeding the pigeons. So I got this first shot and it, it's okay, I mean it's, it's alright, we've got, we've got birds there and you know the kids looking on and she's got a bit of a look on her face and the pigeon on the right hand side has got its wings flapping about not overly keen on that shot to be honest it's, it's okay but the next shot i quite like it so this was the next shot where the pigeon had got a face full of feed and he's walking away quite happily his little mate at the side of him on the left hand side he's looking as if you know where's my food and all the pigeons in the background there at the lady's feet they're all kind of looking on 
with, with my feed, he's got all the goods with mine. And uh, obviously we've got the, the main subject, the lady in the background there. So I quite like that shot. Uh, what note did I put? Pigeon feeder is an okay shot. That's the first one. And then the better shot, it adds a little bit of humour. So I, I quite like that shot. So that, that one I'll put down as a, a fairly successful photograph. Okay, the next shot. Saw this guy from the other side of the road. He was there all decked up in whatever he's decked up in. You know, it's, it's quirky. It's Wellington. People are quirky down there. They've got their own sort of fashion style. And uh, it's a great place to people watch. But this guy, so I, I saw him. And he's kind of looking straight across the road. And as I started crossing the road, instead of him crossing the road towards me, he kind of started looking up and just, just enjoying the sunlight that was hitting him in the face. He was there for a good few seconds, so I, I cracked off a few shots as I'm going across the road towards him. And this is the closer I got to him, actually. And uh, I quite like it. It's a, it's a moment. Not sure what sort of a moment it is, but it's a moment. I quite like this girl on the left-hand side. She's got quite a colourful top and a head, head covering sort of thing. And there's a little bit of a gesture where she's holding her boyfriend's hand. So I thought, yeah, that's, that's half decent. And then this other bloke came walking in with his, uh, with his carrier bag and his flat cap. And I thought that looked quite interesting. And the light was quite nice. And in the end, it's morphed into, what did I put here? I put group walking, no moment. I think that's all I can say about that. So uh, another fail for me. Okay, let's move on to the next. This guy. And I got in fairly close to the guys. And I was quite interested in the guy on the left hand side. Uh, in his in his suit and his head scarf thing and his sort of mirror sunglasses so I popped off a couple of shots for some reason they turned my way not looking at me but sort of looking past me and this guy my main target he was kind of he sort of leant back and arms down by his side and, and sort of arched his back and, and kind of looked off into the distance huh? for me I like it you know, I, I do I like that shot so I'm going to call that a winner next shot people all holding an ice cream together, all in the same hand. When I took it, I realized that, man, I've, I've seen that shot a million times before. It's been done to death. Folk eating an ice cream, seen it all before. So uh, let's move on. As I'm walking along the waterfront, this guy was stood there and he was just stood next to this big crane. There's a ship down there. So I got talking to the chap, asking him what was going on and they're, they're renovating this old ship. So, uh, so I got talking to him and he's quite an interesting bloke, knowledgeable, knows his stuff, quite happy to chat. And he was quite expressive with his hands. So as he's chatting, I'm popping off shots. Not a world beating shot, but there is a gesture there and it's, it's nice enough. So I will add that to the keeper list. Another volunteer came walking up the gangplank and as, as soon as I saw his face, I thought, shit man, he's a character, definite character. And that's what I've written down here. Definite character, but there's no moment. It's just a just a bloke walking up a gangplank. This is called the I think it's called the Solace to the Wind sculpture on Wellington Harbour. I thought I'll sit down here, park up five, frame up round the statue, and then just wait for people coming and 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 hopefully you know giving the statue a slap on the backside or giving him a tickle on the nuts or something like that, or whatever you know whatever just just giving him a bit of interaction. None of that ever happens, obviously, not when I'm there, not when I've seen it. But these two people sort of moved in, and I quite like it that it's, you know, it, everything sort of builds into the middle, into a, a nice sort of oval shape. Is it a classic street photograph? Not really sure. Not really sure, to be honest, what a classic street photograph is. But, uh, but it's, it's one I quite like. This lady was stood there. Her daughter got out of the pushchair. Only, only a toddler, maybe three years old, something like that. Went into the crowd dancing with a couple of other little kids and uh, this is an absolute proud mama moment and uh, I quite like that it's you know it's it's a, it's a nice moment <laughs> this one I saw these three young people rock up with uh, with masks on and my first instinct was uh, hey it's over let it go take them off and then the girl in the middle put her hand on this young chap's arm to sort of console him for whatever reason and it's it's a connection it's <laughs> it, it's it's a moment and what did I write on my notes I put we know it's over but keep wearing it eh <laughs> okay sorry moving on this guy now I kind of saw this guy from a distance straight away I saw that he got a busted wing and he got a skateboard that to me suggests that he's had a skateboard accident so I was kind of waiting and just hoping he'd sort of set off on the skateboard and do one-handed trick or something like that or whatever you know I mean I was waiting for him to do something unfortunately and probably quite wisely he never moved from that spot <laughs> on the skateboard at least anyway so uh, 
initially I thought it was going to make a nice photograph. It's okay, nice light, not much more than that. And that is exactly what I've put on for the next shot. I wrote down nothing really to see here. I saw this young fella climbing up out of the cold water. He'd been for a dip. People sort of watching him come out of the water thinking, are you mad? Uh, but there was no visual connection between the two. It's just one guy looking at another guy, another guy just getting out of the water. So uh, yeah, nothing really to see here. These two people, I saw them walking down the waterfront and it, the wind was starting to pick up a little bit. They got these hats on, thought, yeah, come on. And all of a sudden this, this bit of wind must have started lifting the hats and they both instinctively lifted their hands up at the same time to, to get hold of the hats, which I was a little bit gutted about. I got that shot, but I was hoping the wind would take both hats off at the same time, get them sort of more animated trying to catch the hats. The idea was there, I was in place, I'd seen a potential for a shot, it didn't really materialise unfortunately, but that's that's the thing, you just never know. A little bit of a nothing shot for me then. So I decided, right, you know, the chances are these guys are going to keep walking, they're going to get around another corner, they're going to lose the hats, come on. I followed them around the back of this boat shed, at every corner I'm thinking, the wind, the wind, take your hats, and it, it sadly it didn't. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, nothing to see here. Now I'm walking up the road, and I could see on the other side of the road, I could see this, these two people engaged in something. They were holding each other's heads for whatever reason. And I sort of made my way round. I kind of walked past them, popped off a shot, but it was too far away. And the hands were blocking the girl in the yellow's face completely. So it was a nothing shot. So I decided to circle back again, get in a little bit closer, pop off a couple of shots. And just, I don't know what's going on. Really don't know what's going on. Uh, it looks like some sort of, spiritual meditation thing i have no idea she might have had a migraine uh she might be trying to squeeze her eyes out of her head <laughs> I, I, I don't know but it's a moment and that's what i'm trying to get to in my photography where it's a moment and a, and a good photograph is there to make you ask questions you look at it and think what's going on there you don't just look at two people walking up a street and think eh, two people walking up a street move on to the next image you look at it a little bit longer and try and work out what story you can make out of what you can see in the photograph. And that's what I'm trying to get. So for me, that is a that is a good shot. I quite like that. Again, now I saw this lady. I mean, look at look at her. She looks incredible. You know that 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 sort of head covering the hat. But she's absolutely covered in tattoos and she just looks she just looks the part. She's a complete and utter character. So I thought I've got to get a shot of this lady. So I sat down on a wall close by, and as she's talking to this fella, I thought, right, get a few shots. So I got a few shots, and they're just looking at each other and chatting to each other, and not much going on really, but I, I knew I had to wait and see if anything developed. And then all of a sudden, towards the end of the conversation, they went to give each other a bit of a fist bump to say farewell. I got this frame first, which I quite like, it's okay, but then I took a second frame, got the actual fist connection, got them actually looking at each other and some nice light on the lady's face and I, for me, so far, out of that day, so far, that is my favourite shot. Uh, there's a little bit of something going on, we've got two characters, one incredible character and you know we've got, we've got reds going on and we've got vibrant reds going on, we've got that blue drain pipe on the right hand side sort of streaking through the frame, we've got a nice bit of a shadow on the wall from a tree and then we've got a little window there with a Superman logo on there, which has got a nice vibrant S going through it. And for me, it's a standout shot so far. For me, that's a winner. Okie dokie, next shot. As the lady starts walking away from that chap, this lady was walking with her. I don't know if it's a mum or a... Oh, who knows? She's got some connection to her. So they started walking away. So I thought I'd pop off another shot because this lady on the left is also a bit of a character as well. I don't like it anywhere near as much as I like the previous shot, but it's but it's okay. There's a bit of a gesture. It's you know it's something going on, but I just think the lady on the right with the with the colourful headscarf, there's there's nothing really going on with her in this shot. I think I'd made that with the previous shot, so uh, yeah, a bit of a fail this one unfortunately. Okie doke. Next shot. Again, then I went into people walking on the streets. I, I picked a location, you know, the, the sort of mural on the wall there. Some nice light on there, waiting for a character. This shot, it, it's nothing. It's just, uh, it, and I just put down in my notes, you know, just walkers walking past a mural. Uh, nothing more, nothing less. So, uh, fail. 
but I did like the location, so I did stay there a little bit longer to see if I could get a character, see if I could get a moment, something. And I'm going to say that a lot during this video, I'm sorry. A moment, I'm looking for moments. Uh, I saw this guy walking up the road there with his, you know, sort of laser beam, red sunglasses on. I thought, you know, something might happen, I don't know. <laughs> As it happens, nothing happened. So uh, just a walker shot, walking past the mural. Uh, let's move on. I didn't see the two girls at the front here. I saw this lady at the back with a sort of bonnet and, and boots and, and flowery dress and carrying a yellow box and I thought all right I'll, I'll target this lady and, and get a shot. She was walking just rigidly straight she wasn't doing anything and then these two girls at the front I don't know what they were doing this this girl on the right hand side in the black top she she was doing something I don't know what the other girl thought it was quite funny and it, it's a little bit of something it's, it's a bit of expression uh, it's a little bit of a moment, I've caught a little bit of something there. So uh, that's that's not a bad shot, I quite like that one. So the next shot, walking down the waterfront again. This dog kept running up to me, it got a stick. So I kept picking the stick up and throwing the stick and then it would bolt off after it, bring the stick back, throw it again. This girl, she's going down the walkway on a skateboard and then obviously there's other dogs coming up the road I think. So she decided to put the dog on a leash. So then she bends down to put the dog on a leash. I thought she looked like I thought she looked like a bit of a character. Uh, the dog's got a little bit of a look on its face, and uh, it's a little bit of interaction between dog and dog owner, and uh, and they both look quite funky. So uh, I'll give this one a pass mark. That's okay. So the next one, walking a little bit further along, the weather by now had started to close in a little bit. You know, we'd start to get a little bit of cloud cover in. So I saw this Sikh family walking down the uh, the walkway there, and they just had big smiles. I, I tend to find Sikhs are always smiling. They're always happy, smiley people. And uh, these guys walking towards me, they I have no idea why they're so happy, but they were happy. So I popped off a shot. I quite like the positioning of the people. Uh, they're all looking in different directions. They've all got big smiles on their faces. And yeah, for me, I like this shot. I converted it to black and white because there was no real colour in this shot at all. So uh, black and white suits this shot far more than colour. I like that one. Another pass mark. It's starting to get a little bit darker now. And I saw this lady, she just got off the bus, I think. And she's walking down towards me. And it was the shock of blue hair that caught my attention initially. There's nothing major about it, but I quite like it. So we'll, uh, we'll say, okay, we'll put a thumbs up to that one. Slight moment, this lady had walked out of a shop. She was checking a change, checking a wallet. She must have realised that she walked out of the shop and she got more change than she bargained for. Or maybe even forgot to pay for something. Whatever reason, she got a smile on her face. She got a left foot in mid-air, just crossing that little bit of a gully. So these people, there's nothing going on there whatsoever. I do like the way the, the people's faces, the people's heads form a little bit of an archway uh, that streaks through the shot. So I, uh, I quite like that one. And, and again, this is just getting in close and just because you're in close doesn't mean it's going to be a great shot on this occasion i like the shot these two guys walking down towards me again nothing major going on they were just walking towards me but they're looking in different directions this is one of those shots that sort of could be timeless it could be 20 years ago 50 years ago it could be yesterday you, you don't know really when this shot is there's nothing apart from the vehicle there to to sort of date the photograph so uh, i quite like that I quite like that shot Again, similar sort of thing, these two people here, there's a gesture going on, uh, something's going on that's caught their attention, they obviously caught my attention, so I took the shot, and I, I quite like that, it's quite nice and central, there's a little bit of movement around them, and I, yeah, I like that shot, it's okay. Again, I took it in colour, but converted to black and white, because by this time of the day, there wasn't much colour in, uh, in the scene at all anyway, so black and white works well. Next frame, walking past a cafe in the centre of town. Saw this fellow with his beret on reading a book and he was pretty chilled. I was quite impressed that, you know, for a start, the thing that caught me is that he's actually reading a book, a physical book with, with pages and words and letters and, and kind of paper and, and a book, not a phone. He's not prattling about on a phone. The light on him was quite good. The light in the cafe is quite nice. So I thought, right, let's get a shot of this guy. So I took a couple of shots, he's reading his book nothing happening it was boring and then all of a sudden this couple for whatever reason there were people passing the window all the time but he just never looked up at all he was just engrossed in his book then for some reason no idea why 
This couple walked past and straight away he just lifted his gaze up, looked at these two people for a split second, then eyes down, back into the book. But in that split second that he looked, I popped off a shot. In my humble opinion, I've caught a, a moment, some semblance of a connection there. So uh, I like that shot. Next frame, right, now then, now then we're getting serious. This little sequence, the middle shot is my shot of the entire weekend. I absolutely love this shot. So I'm walking down the road and I could hear footsteps behind me running. So I spun around instinctively, cracked up three frames. I didn't have a clue what I'd got until I reviewed the photographs afterwards. And then I've got this lady there running into the frame. She's got a, a definite stride on her and she's got a real red glowing face. So obviously she's putting a lot of effort into whatever she's doing. So she's running up the street, the lady on the right, Heard the same footsteps that I'd heard, so she turned around as well to see what was going on. So, uh, so that was the first shot. I'm going to skip to the third shot. So this is the third shot, and obviously the lady then has got further into the frame. She's obscured the lady in the background. So that again, that's not not a good shot at all. Likewise, the first shot, it's not a good shot, but the middle shot that I managed to crack off. Look, I mean, I love it. I've got the lady in mid-flight, both feet off the ground full stride, a jacket is sort of lifted up in the, in the, in the motion of running, in the obscured a face, which, which is okay, I would have liked to have seen a face, but the fact that I've got this lady here on the right hand side looking in her direction, that just makes the shot for me, uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this shot, it was a complete fluke, complete instinct, and uh, yeah, the only thing I did right was being there at the right time, with the right reaction, and uh, and, I, and I caught, I caught a moment, which is uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm trying to catch moments on the street that you know would pass by unnoticed by anybody else, apart from obviously this lady. She noticed it, but she got a camera. No, she hasn't. She's got a phone, right? I had a camera. I caught the moment. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased. I'm really, really chuffed to bits with that photograph. To be honest with you, when I spun around to photograph the lady in the first place, I didn't even see the lady on the right hand side. Uh, it was just the, the lady running towards me with a colourful dress on, and I thought, I've got to get that shot. And then when I looked at it, I, 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 man, I, I, I was chuffed, and I'm still chuffed, that that, la that second lady is in the photograph looking at the running girl. And uh, it, I, I think, personally, without, without that lady in the shot, it would be just, okay... It, I've got her in mid-flight, it would have been quite a nice shot, but uh, I've got a reaction, I've caught a moment, and uh, for me, oh, I'm chuffed a bit. Now these guys here, initially I thought, oh, okay, there's a possibility of a shot here, because they're walking along, they're obviously a close couple, you know, she's holding his hand, and I thought it might make a nice shot, so I took the photograph, and when I looked at it on the back of the camera, I thought, you know, there's, there's nothing there, there's nothing... I'm not overly bothered about the shot, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. it. It is a moment, it's a definite moment. It's quite a nice background, you know, you can tell that in a, in a, in a city, the older part of the city, and I, I quite like it, you know, they're both quite characterful, and it's, it's a genuine moment. Would anybody else have stopped and wanted to take that photograph? Probably not, but I like it. It's a keeper for me. That is a definite keeper. All right, these guys, I saw this guy walking across the street with a pack of toilet rolls, and I thought, yeah, that might make a shot. So as we're walking towards each other, I cracked off a few shots. It's okay, it's just a general walking shot, nothing spectacular, and uh, yeah. maybe in future, it might have some value. At this moment in time, it's just a walking shot. Next frame. Ah, uh, this, this guy, I just had to get a quick portrait of this guy. He's the, uh, the pirate busker, and uh, he sings all these sea shanties. Man, he, he's good. He's absolutely incredible. If you get down to Wellington, get onto Cuba Street, and hopefully this guy's doing his thing, because, man, he's funny. He's so, so talented. Uh, so I just asked him if I could make a quick portrait. He was more than happy. I chucked a dollar into his thing, because that's all I owe me. I wish I'd have had more money for him, because, uh, man, he deserves it. Good bloke. So this one, I thought I had something here, and I still think I might have. So the first thing that caught me was this lady here. She's sort of squat down and she's photographing something through this window. And then I noticed the sign, private property. So I thought, okay, she's kind of taking a photograph and it says private property. Maybe that's a bit of a link there. And then all of a sudden, young fella here in the middle starts scratching his backside. 
and uh, I thought again, okay, private property. I don't know if that's too, is that too dodgy? I, I don't know, but it's, it's a little bit of a moment, right? And, and the good thing is, if I could have seen, if I'd have taken the shot and you could see these people's faces, I wouldn't even have thought about using this because, I mean, to be honest, it's, it's not something the young fella's going to be proud of when he grows up. You know, looking back at that, looking at his face, all of the internet, him scratching his backside. But because you can't see the faces, you can't identify the people, that's why I'm going to call this one a little bit of a win. There's no embarrassment to any of the people. They, if ever they see it, they'll know who they are. Nobody else will. Nobody else looking at this, no casual viewer, will have a clue who they are. But they might ask a few questions about what's going on, what's the situation. There's a little bit of humour there, I think. Anyway, so I quite like it. It's getting towards the back end of the day now. And, and, and I, I think this could have been the last shot of the day, actually. Uh, and this, I saw this guy walking down the street and he was, I mean, <laughs> look at him. Character or what? So uh, as I'm walking across the road, I thought, I've got to get a shot, I've got to get a shot of the guy. Uh, the lady at the front started doing whatever she's doing with her face. So there's a little bit of a gesture there. There's a little bit of something going on. The lad, the main target, he's got some nice light reflected from a building onto his onto his glasses so there's a little bit of a highlight in his glasses there but he just looks good and as i walked past him i said to him i says mate you look amazing uh, and i popped off a shot as he looked at the camera it was blurred it was too close i, I just i messed it up this frame is okay now what i should have done is kept my big fat mouth shut not interacted with him at all spun around and followed these guys just done a little bit of stalking and see what they get up to further down the street see if the lad makes a gesture or a you know the, the group have a bit of a connection or a moment or anything some sort of some reaction to something so i should have kind of followed them a little bit not in a creepy stalky dodgy way just in a interested observer kind of way and uh, so i should have done that but i didn't but i still like the shot uh, right so now we're on to the next morning Walking down towards the waterfront, some good light on this subject here, back towards the statue, the solace to the wind, I think it's called. And this, this guy here was kind of leaning in there and, uh, is it a great shot? I don't really think so. Uh, no, the framing's all wrong, it's, it's just muddled, it's all messed up. Uh, it, it's okay, in fruit and veggie markets you can walk around there, people are just there doing what they're doing. They don't care what I'm doing, so you know you can walk around quite freely with a camera, popping off shots at characters as you see them. This one was the first shot I took in there, uh, and it's it's okay. The the fellas there is, you know, he's got a little bit of a hand gesture, uh, a little bit of a fail to be fair, but it's a good practice for getting close to people in a fruit market. So uh, so it's okay, nothing nothing major, but okay. Likewise, this shot, this lady was sort of marking down what she'd bought, what she'd not bought, what she needed to buy. So I got quite close to her. And look at it now, actually. I don't even think I've got the focus right on her. I think she's she's a little bit uh, soft focus in the face. So uh, I quite like the composition of it. You know, it's, I've made it into a, a kind of elongated semi-panorama sort of shot. And it, it, it's okay, but it's not, not anything major. Uh, this one here, this lady here, she was... She was walking around the farmer's market and she's got a big beam on her face all the time. Quite a cool hat, so I got as close as I could really get to her. You know, again, it's nothing major. Unfortunately, because it's, you know, the sun's rising, it's got my shadow cast on the bloody leaks and the frigging whatever else that is there. And uh, so it just, yeah, just, now yeah, failed, failed, absolutely failed. Next shot. This one works for me. So it's, uh, I, I kind of saw this guy walking around first. And then he was walking towards this lady. She was down buying her oranges, picking her oranges and whatever. And all of a sudden, for whatever reason, she looked up at him and gave him a bit of a stare. And uh, I quite like that. I do like that. She's got a bit of an expression on her face. There's a bit of a moment going on there. I quite like it. So, uh, yeah, quite a successful shot, that one, in my humble opinion. Next frame. So the uh, so the busker, and he, and he was good. Another good, good busker. Belted out some beautiful tunes, really good singer, great guitar player. I, I love these farmers markets buskers. But the thing that got me is this young fella here. He was stood and he was intently watching this busker, really watching him with a smile on his face. And he was really interested in what the busker was doing and what he was singing. But everybody else, you look at everybody else's face in the background to the right hand side of the guitarist and then the left hand side and then the middle above the young child's head and then in the sort of, and then the other side of the frame, not one other person 
is looking towards the busker. Everybody's just going about their day, totally oblivious to the busker. This young fella was intent. So that was my favourite shot of the morning, actually. And uh, so, so yeah, I quite like that one. We'll put that down as a win. Next frame, the only thing that caught me about this shot was this lady leaning in quite close to her, to the oranges and the glare, the light from the oranges was reflecting back in her face so she's got quite an orange face and uh, uh, initially I quite liked it um, and the fact that I've got in close doesn't necessarily make it a great shot it's just a, a just a, a close shot of somebody shopping <laughs> effectively so uh, yeah, not nothing major next shot, I'm walking back towards the waterfront saw these people walking down here and initially I thought, yeah I like that you know, we've got a bit of a Bit of a group separated walking down this gantry and we've got a bit of sunlight going on in color it really didn't work so i converted it to black and white and to be honest with you uh, no i still don't think it works it's okay it's okay but it's not the sort of street photography i enjoy or that i'm looking to do you know they're too far they're just people in a scene i'm wanting and i keep going back to it i'm wanting moments i'm wanting interactions and this is not my type of photography it's a perfectly legitimate type of street photography many people do this successfully and it's good for people who are keen to try street photography but don't want to get too close to people so uh, it's you know it's a good way to stand back and get people within a scene but uh, that's not what I want to do this young fella uh, is teaching his girlfriend how to ride an e-scooter for the first time she was a little bit freaked out he thought it was quite funny as a scooter passed me I got a shot it's okay, it's a little bit of a moment, it's a little bit messy behind them though, and uh, yeah, close, not quite there, but on this occasion, I think I've just missed. Next frame, a moment, a moment, so I'm walking down the street, I saw this guy here with his sort of beanie on and his, his flaming jacket, and I thought, character, you know, he's got a bit of a big old beard going on there so I thought yeah we'll have some of this and then he's walking towards these two people here and straight away they put their hands out towards each other to give each other a bit of a bit of a shake so I uh, bang I took uh, I took two frames of this one frame I missed I missed the actual uh, connection the second frame I got the connection and uh, it, it's a moment and I quite like that one I'll call that one a success this fella's talking this young lady I think he was Salvation Army it says on his shirt and there was a band playing at the side of me or you know, Salvation Army so he's talking with this lady and he's, he's quite expressive he's waving his arms about and somehow he's moving his fingers around and, he, and he's been left with these two fingers and it looks like he's giving her the old uh, V for victory sign uh, he wasn't I've got to stress that he wasn't he was just expressive with his hands and his and his fingers and uh, it's just a, a just a little bit of a moment I caught he's quite happy she's quite happy uh, there was nothing sort of offensive about it in any way shape or form it was just a genuine moment and uh, again a moment so I like that one and I managed to get in quite close to him I got in close to this guy because I thought it looked quite interesting I was hoping he was going to take a slurp of his coffee or something and maybe maybe the coffee was too hot and he was going to burn himself and spit it out all over the place and, and make a shot he didn't, he's, too, he's obviously too careful for that, he's not as stupid as I am. So he, uh, he just walked through the scene, I took a shot, I got a little bit of a sunbeam there going through, and initially I thought, oh, that's quite a nice shot. There's nothing happening, to be honest. Just be, uh, and again, I go back to this point, just because you can get close to a subject, really close to a subject, doesn't mean it's going to be a great shot. And on this occasion, I'm close, no cigar. Okay, uh, and that, that's it guys, that's it. That was the, the sum total of my weekend away. In the day and a half in Wellington, I walked for 33 kilometers. Uh, I tell you, I was sore legs, my hips were in agony the next day. It was hard work. I enjoyed it, but out of that whole day, and I shot quite a lot of photographs, I've only shown you the ones that are anything, anything like, the ones that are absolutely nothing like, I've, I've just deleted them. I think in, in total I took about maybe 300 shots and narrowed it down to 60 that are passable and out of that 60 that are passable there's probably one, two, three, maybe four, maybe five photographs that I've come away with that I'm quite happy and uh, those photographs, however many there is I'm, I'm not sure yet, but uh, those photographs I'll put here at the end of the video.